What up, YouTube? Back here again with another one. I'm just gonna let this footage play in the back because I want to talk. I want to talk about gear. So lately I've been going through another gear transformation. Again, um, I'm feeling a little more comfortable on a 925 wide board with a 15 and a half inch wheelbase. I felt like the 8.88 isn't bad, but it's the wheelbase, it's being sub 15. I feel like I, I'm way up over the bolts with my front foot. Most of the time I'm sort of riding in the pocket, front and back. And that's kind of weird. It's a little bit nicer to stretch out a bit. And even the width. Um, now that I'm used to the coping, and I'm not all over sliding from wheel to wheel on my trucks from right to left, um, I like having a little more board under my feet now, even on the width. So I just got the new, um, it's a anti-hero board. It's the Apocalypse Cow. I set it up with my Ace 55s. And I'm going to be probably riding my black Spitfire 99A, the uh, Mark Gonzalez signature wheels, because I'm going to tackle rock and rolls again. I'm going to get the rock and rolls back. I'm going to try to move them all around the bowl. I'm going to try to hit the flat wall to the middle section and just go, and just go deeper and deeper. I know the problem I'm having is my front foot's actually coming off the deck as I try to enter back into the bowl. And that's what's leaving me with those bad crashes but anyway i'm kind of wondering what you guys ride um you know wheels is there is there one thing that you're a stickler to that you have to have a certain wheel a certain shape i know a double conical wheel i don't like it right now i want to get up on the coping stand up grind kingpin grind whatever i want to go fast i want to worry about that wheel not rolling out on me which tends to happen with a double conical wheel I also like the diameter to be big. I think I'm preferring a 63. I really wish, you know, if somebody knows the guy who owns the Rainscape company, I really like Rainscape wheels. I'd like him to make that black rain wheel in 63 millimeter, which they do make. They have a double conical version now. I wish we had a full conical. One that had like a straight edge, a straight sidewall up and down. That way it would give me like indefinite lock especially with the big 63 size but yeah let me know in the description below if there's something you found gear wise like I just mounted up some rails I was sure not to do pig rails and I think the rails I put on this board were uh, skeleton key they still feel pretty hard you know I, I want to find a rail that's can keep me off the deck but can give me a little bit of traction with more slide you know with force Because on pipe coping, you slide really easy. You don't even really need rails. Um, I just want them. I want to be able to learn to uh, do it with rails so that I can hit concrete coping and curbs or whatever I want. So, yeah, anyway, these clips may seem like the same thing over and over. And I don't know if. Uh, if you guys can see this, the incremental changes and progress that we are making. We're trying to hit longer grinds, front side, back side, in the deep. In the middle section there, that middle section six feet. Um, we're trying, actually Barry just set a challenge last night of first one to scratch coping front side in the deep end. And this is between Barry, Kevin, that's Joel right there. He's a Brazilian friend. He has some skating in his past. He used to do backside airs and and even do some street plants. He acted like an invert. Might be a possibility for him out here. So as he's getting these things back, he is progressing fast like that. Uh, what did he do? A disaster lip slide into a board slide? I don't know what the terminology is for it, but... He's got these things, tricks, popping right out onto the surface that are kind of exciting to see what he's going to do.
Nice frontside rock there by Josh. I really want to get that, but you know what? We're going to wait till we get the backside down. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the deep end is 8 feet. It's been a little hard for me to hit lately, but this challenge is frontside, and Barry and I are getting pretty stoked to try it, and um, I wouldn't be surprised if someone hits it very soon, within the next week or two. Um, I uh, would like to double truck it. I would like to hit a car grind where I'm just rolling on both trucks. I don't know that I'll ever have the cojones to do that um, at that at that height. I'm definitely a person I like to lift off, put my truck down and lift on. Lift on, lift off, whatever. Um, the idea of rolling my wheel just over the edge is sketchy to me. So even when I backside carb grind the deep end, I'm definitely lifting up and popping down. So um, yeah anyway. I uh I'm curious as to what you guys are sticking to as far as gear, oh! what size board you Give ride and all 50, that kind of stuff, what kind of bearings, what kind of wheels, how soft, how hard are the wheels, and, and diameter. Are the rest of you cats riding wheels plus 60 millimeter, or are you liking the smaller wheels? I know we get, sometimes, I like to try a lot of gear, so I'm really knowing what I like the best. But alright man, take care, thanks for watching.